Are we recording? Oh, I didn't even know we were recording. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. This is, this is the, the worst way to open up a podcast. So, <laughs> welcome back, y'all, for another episode of More to the Story. I am Farron Moore. You are. And this is my syphilis infected <laughs> friend. <laughs> Friend and co-host over here, yeah. Dion Lack. Yeah. <laughs> the symptoms the symptoms make you, you yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that was a symptom. I was say, did, are you also a crackhead? Because that's right. all I got from this scratch. Scabies and, the and scurvies. Right? Maybe you a scabies. Scurvy? Scabies and scurvies. scurvies. Yeah, scabies would make you itch. Yeah. Yes. What is scurvies? It's scurvy. Yeah, what's scurvy? And that's from lack of vitamin C. Yes. Like bleeding as a really? That's, yeah. I thought it was uh, gingivitis. Also, yes. <sighs> You're just learning so much. Yes. <laughs> this is school for me. This is my senior year all over again. And we are also back <laughs> with Tiffany Ram. Hey, y'all. Yay. Yay. <laughs> We're so in sync. I'm excited. I just wanted to make that Yay. voice for some reason. Hey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I had put notes in here earlier when I went on my very long walk. Ooh, I like walks. Mm-hmm. I it just, was hot today. It was. It was. Man. I went in the morning. Oh, I that was, was smart. I was back home by ten thirty. Oh, that's good. But it was a long walk. Anyway, you go hiking or walk? I just went on a walk because I was trying to oh, yeah. um, get my thoughts together for okay. this. Hey. Um. Yeah. So I just went on a walk. Yeah. 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 Um. Anyway. So. Ooh. I'm sorry, y'all. Give me a second. Okay. Things are itching. Hey. I do not have scurvies syphilis or scurvy. I mean, scabies. <laughs> scabies, syphilis, or scurvy. I don't have any of that. Just a little itch. Um, <laughs> just need lotion. So, question, y'all, because I just, like, really, I always knew this about myself, but I've just gotten to the point where I'm, like, I'm finding out like the root cause of it when I feel it coming up. I'll get to it in a second. <laughs> and I felt like you were about to say something. <laughs> and I also, I also um, have decided to like embrace it a bit as it's one of my characteristics I'm not super in love with, but it's who I am. And I am who I am. I am a jealous person. Mm. Um. So, uh, and I I will break down how, in all the ways, and how it looks, and the things that I'm doing to quell it. Is that a word? <laughs> Is that the right word? Quell. Good Thanks. job, Cam. I be knowing words. Mm-hmm. I and like Cam. Thanks, Cam. Cam <laughs> always got my checker. back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like when he's here in the studio. But like Cam be speaking up and helping me. Your name should be Cam on the Cam. Ooh, cute. You're not the first to say that. Damn it! Ha! Uh, so right? You, you wanted like, you to be... Mm. Keep going with the Look jealousy. Now I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm, now I'm jealous. That someone figured <laughs> it out before Are me. y'all jealous people? And I'm not talking about mm-hmm. just in uh, intimate relationships. I'm talking about like in life. It depends on what the jealousy is of. I'm not jealous... Give me an example. I'm not, I'm not jealous of people's success. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not jealous of people's you know money or... It's it's more so of of like I don't know if it's jealousy like it's, it's like one of the things of like I don't know if this I don't know if that jealousy more like why do they pick them versus me Is that jealousy mm. yeah envy yeah it was like which is it's it's kind of like it's kind of like hey why are I get invited to your wedding so that's mm. not jealousy right. It's, it's like, damn, I thought we were closer than that. It's like, hey, why why didn't I get invited to the game night? Oh, that seems like a mm-hmm. like a perceived. If you were jealous of someone else friend. who got invited and you didn't, yeah, invited that's invited. yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I was like, you picked that nigga for me. Oh, yeah, so, so then yeah. that is jealous. Yes. yes. So over him. The other one would be <laughs> rejection, no. like the perceived yeah, it's, rejection. It's, rejection. Like, yes. it's, it's rejection because yeah. because it's like I'm closer to you. Than him. Why would you pick him over me? So I get that a lot. Like, like I don't mind not getting invited, but you picked him. You <laughs> called him. Maybe they're I'm, closer than you him. think. Hey. Yeah, but that's when I kind of be like, what's up with that? 
but so that's more of re- I don't know if that's rejection or jealousy. And a little yeah, combination I mean, of the two. Yeah, it sounds yeah, like because like before that I, I didn't I care came, about this dude. Yeah, like you said, I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't care. <laughs> I was like, oh, he was at the party too. Oh, <laughs> the perception of like you you lost something to someone else. Mm-hmm. So yeah, right. It's still it still is. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> so I guess I'm a jealous person. I'm a jealous person. <laughs> How about you too? I honestly no, not really. Really, but because a lot of jealousy is seated in insecurities, mm-hmm. I will say apparently I've had the overwhelming confidence most of my life in most areas. <laughs> Um, and where I didn't have confidence, I just had a lot of anxiety. Oh, so okay. there really wasn't a lot of room for jealousy. It was either like, I'm very confident or I'm too damn anxious to worry. Like, I'm worried <laughs> about other shit than being jealous. Right. So, gotcha, um, gotcha. But there are a few instances where I've experienced jealousy, but it's not common because, yeah, I'm very confident, apparently insecure in myself. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very so awkward. So all I hear is that you think you're better than me. No. <laughs> That's all I hear. <laughs> uh, what I say is I just know I'm different. Mm-hmm. It's not about being less than or more than somebody, mm-hmm. but just knowing like what I bring to the table is different. Um, and so if someone chooses me, it's because they chose me, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. And so I, even like having cheated and been cheated on, I know that it's not because I lack anything necessarily. They, the other person just has something Insecure. else. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! How very like uh, mature of you. <laughs> I am not there. Um, <laughs> no, but I realized it, like, and actually embraced it and used it to make me better at work. Ooh, because I was trained by someone who is absolutely phenomenal at their job. Their job, like, mm. she was great, and she was the person. She wasn't very a very sociable person like no one actually liked her but i was like you may not like her but the bitch is she knows what she's doing right Mm -hmm. and so if i need uh help with anything i just had to like sit that to the side and be like yo can i talk Mm -hmm. this through with you and you know and she would always be willing to to help or whatever with with whatever it was but i did realize like yo if she was picked to work on a project over me or if somebody asked her um, a question that I'm like, I could answer that, you know, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> I, you know, I felt I felt it a little bit. I took it. I did take it personal, but it just made me work harder. And um, I, I just felt I feel like it eventually just made me better at my job that I became that person everybody was coming to and I was mm. like, oh, I don't think I want this anymore. Yeah. Amen. So- right. <laughs> you learn very quickly that right. it's overrated right. in the workplace. Right. <laughs> um, but I was talking to a friend um, earlier and I was telling her how it's so crazy that just going, swiping through IG or whatever, mm-hmm. um, I would see someone... I don't know, and they, they, you know, got something great or doing whatever, and I'll be like, oh, yes, bitch, get it. I see you. And it'll be somebody else I don't know and whatever they they have or whatever the announcement, whatever it is, and I'll just, like, feel it a little bit. I'm like, mm, I'm going to like it because I want to. <laughs> I'm being nice. I'm being nice, but I kind of feel a way why you got that. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but, so. It is really bad when people I actually do know, like, if I don't like you and you got something great, it's like, why is God even fucking with you, giving you blessings and shit? Like, don't <laughs> don't he know you a terrible person because I don't like you? <laughs> like, <laughs> That's so funny. But, yeah, I, I agree. You ever, you ever not liked someone and then you secretly, not outwardly, you mm-hmm. be like, I wish nothing but worse things to happen in your career. <laughs> But the opposite happens. Uh-huh. And you're looking like, I'm not <laughs> hating, but it's like, like, hold on. This is this is something I'm out <laughs> this is something I'm outwardly saying. I always said karma's gonna catch up to 50 Cent. Mm. Because of how bad he talks about people, mm-hmm. how much he like, you know, he trolls people, he tried to shit on Jaru's career, and he was like, he's like, oh, like oh, and I was like, I was like, karma's going to catch up to him, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is doing well. He is in jo- <laughs> And I was like, what is happening? Why are y'all still bandwagoning on his trollness? 
Like he was like he, he he be saying stuff like, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, she she slept with five or six dudes, but whatever. Go watch Power, y'all. And I'm just like, <laughs> like, dude, you just you just just hating on this woman's whole life right here. You put her on blast. You know, and I'm just like, dude, karma's gonna catch up to him, but nah, he is cooking. <laughs> it's a swift reminder, like, because I've I've definitely been there with the like, you don't like someone, so then you're like irked when they are actually succeeding. Yeah, yeah. You know, like mm -hmm. for me, it's not jealousy. It's like, does not everybody see what I see? Right. That's the thought you <laughs> right. have. Right. That's a terrible person. Y'all don't see it. Yes. Right. Because then it makes you feel like cuckoo. Because you're like, am I the common denominator? <laughs> yes. Like, am I? Crazy? Am I? Right, so here's what I'll tell you around this is, especially as someone who survived a narcissist, and if you do any research on Oof. narcissistic personalities, is part of the narcissist's um, like strategy and their like emotional abuse and psychological abuse is convincing you you're crazy and being terribly so, charismatic so the people around you don't believe what you tell them wow. about that person. So that's what's really happening when you see that, when like you don't like somebody and they've done you terrible wrong and you try to tell somebody else and they don't believe you yeah. because Girl. to everybody else, and now you're they're hating. insanely charismatic to everybody else, but they chose like you to fuck three over. Three people just <laughs> popped into my head and I'm like, yeah. yo! Yeah. So if you have that experience, especially in entertainment, especially in business, wow. narcissists and sociopaths dominate business because they really don't give a fuck. Wow. They can make those cutthroat decisions without giving a fuck if yeah. it means 30 million people just lost jobs or whatever yeah. the hell. So, and they tend to be terribly charismatic. So they will be like charismatic to like 95% of people and they will fuck over and burn that other 5%. Wow. But because everybody else doesn't know your experience, they think you're cuckoo. Oh, right? sounds like an Ellen DeGeneres situation. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? So that's yeah. what's really happening wow. is that person's probably a narcissist. And they wooed everybody else. And they chose you, of all the people, yeah. to, like, you know, just really do wrong, you oh, know. But so you that know happens. what? To your point, I like this. Uh, my friend said this earlier. She was like, you can't want abundance for yourself and poverty for someone else. So it's like... Since mm -hmm. we're all actually supposed to be living in abundance, mm -hmm. you wanting somebody else to not have it ruins it for you. Yes. Right. So I was like... I, I don't wish bad <laughs> things for, for, for 50 Cent. <laughs> but what I'm saying is I said karma is going to happen. But is that wishing worse for him? By f no, like, but also karma doesn't happen the way you want, want it to. It to. Mm -hmm. You know, like maybe like his dick is not working and yeah. we just don't know. Yeah. You know, like karma's yeah. going to come in a way you probably won't see. Yeah. yeah. Or in another life. Child Everybody support. always thinks it's in this life. It might be, you know, in the next or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Stop following those people, man. Yes, well, he please. keeps popping up. Yes. You know what? The, the worst thing is, is I said I told myself not to support it, but then I found out that he was an executive with a, executive producer for BMF, and I was like, I love right. this show. And I, and I found out he's doing Snoop Dogg's new uh, I'm sorry, TV what's show. What's a BMF? Uh, it's a new TV show, uh, Blowing Money Fast by oh. Larry, Larry Hoover and and Dick I've Beach. heard about it. Yes, I did. Yeah, don't don't. And I was just like, this dude is. I was like, all my favorite shows. He's the executive <laughs> producer of. <laughs> you just throwing money at him. Yeah. I'm just like, right. Damn it! Right. <laughs> You're taking my money and my self esteem. See, I don't think that's jealousy. That's something else. So yeah. let's get back to the jealousy. <laughs> Karen had a point, I'm sure. We're getting into it. Dion doesn't have a point. <laughs> okay, so um just in just in thinking of that and you know, because I'm just always on a quest to to be a better version of myself. Um I wanted to just get to the to the root of it. So I was like, hey. Then it led me to think of how does jealousy um display differently in men and women. Mm. So it sounds like, at least from your personal, <laughs> personal experience, like you, you take his success very personally. No, um, I don't, I don't seek out it. I don't, I don't seek for it. But uh -huh. when it shows up, I'm like, this dude, he is like, 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 it's more so like, like he is, he is hitting all threes. He's not even practicing. <laughs> Practice. <laughs> um, but what I would say. This is this is something I would say is not jealousy but hating though. <laughs> That's still jealousy is though. It? Is yes. it really? Is it really? Using the slang term of jealousy is doesn't it? change the definition. So what she said. I <laughs> and this is for men and women. When you know, and, and this is more of a shade. When you know you are a sex symbol, 
women and men, and you purposely like do things or show something of your body that you like, this is gonna get a bunch of likes. But you don't you don't actually acknowledge that it's your body that you are getting the likes for. You say something like, "Hey man, life is like clouds. You gotta fluff it up." And it's like, and it's like, but you like just like. <laughs> And I was like, you, I don't like, know you what know, just happened. You're like, you know why you posted this picture. It ain't nothing about the caption. And it's like, <laughs> it's, I don't know if that's hating, but it's like, it's like, stop. We know you're why you're mad do. at the algorithm, okay? <laughs> They're trying to get their engagement up. You are hating, okay? Hate? They know what gets the engagement right. up. And they just sell and what's that? Like, just, right. just say, hey, I felt sexy today. What y'all think about this? Be honest you're with us. With yeah. Yes. yes. Help me with my thoughts, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to therapy you this Cam, time. Okay, yeah. I was trying I mean, to be I mean, mean, is having like Listen, serious feels. This is my therapy here. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to work it out. So, um, just to to get to the root of um, jealousy, because now when I feel that little something creeping up, it's like, what about this is is causing these yes. feelings? And um, even in talking to my friend earlier, she was like, "Your some insecurity that you have is being triggered when you feel that way." Because I was like, "I hate that." Um, I go from, you know, whether I know you or not, like, yes, okay, I see you, mm -hmm. like, okay, and mm -hmm. I got a little comment. Other times it's like, I almost got that purse. I'm going to like it. <laughs> like, right. Or, you know, like, it's just it's just little it's little things that I'm like, what's, what's the difference? What am I seeing in one and not the other? Mm -hmm. Why am I so supportive here? Is it just based on the mood I'm in? But uh, insecurity is triggered. And I was like, that's. That makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. But I just never even fucking thought about it. I'm just like, mm, I don't like what you're doing. But I do kind of like what you're doing. I think it's the and people I'm not ready your, to accept I it. I think it's the people in your circle. Not circle, but like price circle. Versus like, you're not hating on like Jada Pickett. Because like that's a whole different tax bracket. But it's like No, I hate on her too. Why she's so fucking pretty bald? Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Shit. No. I think you could. But... Uh, I'll also say part of jealousy is power. When How you so? like the dynamic, so some of the insecurities rooted in your if you have power to change it or not, or if you feel like you have control. So the mm. difference between a lot of times men and women and their jealousy is how they perceive like the power dynamic, and what's like important to you. So like a lot of men get jealous because they want to control, mm. and when they can't or they feel like they don't have control, that's when like they start feeling jealous. Like uh. Because that's why it's like, oh, you're jealous that she might find someone or attract someone better than you, which is why you don't like when she dresses a certain way. Because mm -hmm. mm. you know it attracts a certain kind of attention. Yes. So it's not really you mad at her for looking good and being all cute because that's how she got you. <laughs> but you're mad because you know like you might be insecure. <laughs> she might find someone better than you mm. looking that same way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's where it's like the power, like, oh, when she goes out and if I don't go with her, like I don't have power over how many is going to holler at her when she gets there. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's going to yeah. happen. Yeah. And if it's any females in the room like me, I'm coming too. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, mm, hello, ma'am. Um, so, yeah, a yeah. lot of it also has to do because some people feel really uncomfortable when it comes to insecurity. Mm -hmm. But a lot of it is also power. Mm -hmm. You know, do you feel powerless when you look at that? Like, oh, I have no ability to get that far. Like, mm -hmm. I'm never going to accomplish that. Or, you know, whatever the perceived. So between insecurity and, like, your perceived power over the situation. Ooh, okay. Would you be, yeah. would you be offended or, uh, or is this a compliment if, if, if to hear was in a room and nobody complimented him <laughs> or <laughs> like because i'm I'm going off what she said as in like that's how i got him he's attractive versus like all these women are 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 you know oogling over him mm -hmm. or would you be like mm -hmm. huh nobody is oogling over my husband is he ugly <laughs> or <laughs> or would you be like or would you be like or would you be like look at all these women look at them I got me somebody. How would, how would you feel? I mean, would you would you want this is not it's not about jealousy. Would you want a man that all the women are googling over? Mm -hmm. Is that a word? Oogling? <laughs> Oggling? Thank you, Cam. Yeah. The cam on the cam. <laughs> Oggling over. <laughs> Wording is harder, goddammit. It's hard all or, the time. <laughs> or or a uh, man that uh, that no one compliments. Mm. No, I 
And don't say half and half. No, I wasn't about to. No, I want I want him to have to have some attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you be like, hey, hey? Would you be like, <laughs> look at my man? Okay, now that's probably half and half. It's like if it gets too crazy, it's like, all right, that's enough. <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> simmer down now. All right, I'm be one of the women. I'm not fair and more. <laughs> but <Number> <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. Um, yeah, I'm not that level of of jealous. Like I don't even. I'm not even worried about like somebody of him finding someone else. I get more upset over. I guess the the perceived disrespect of somebody like coming on to him while I'm there because I mean oh. if I see it then I'm there. <laughs> That's more than jealousy. That's yeah. disrespect. Like bitch, exactly. you know who I am. I'm here. So, but the nerve. But you know some <laughs> some people just take it as like oh you know like you you don't trust him and mm-hmm. it's like it has nothing to do with that. This person needs to be corrected. Mm-hmm. Like so I just want to be like grab her by her arm and be like, bitch, I'm right, right here. I think, grab her by the arm. Okay. <laughs> just I mean, like I said, I don't think that's jealousy. Like that's mm-hmm. disrespect. Like yeah. clearly people know you all are together. And mm-hmm. so if a woman approaches him, unless she really didn't know, but like why are you here then? <laughs> um, you know, like hmm. but anyways, my perceived idea of the situation, mm-hmm. yeah, check her. Excuse you. <laughs> Wife here. Bye. <laughs> like that's not even jealousy. That's like disrespect. And I, mm-hmm. I was like, I think that's two different things. Yeah. But okay. what if she didn't know though? What if she was like, girl, who is that man right there? He is fine. Oh, I don't care about that. That has happened. Fine with that. that has yeah. happened um I think all women should, right? more than, like, oh, well, that's my husband. More than a few times. I don't even say anything. I just let them talk. No, I was gonna say I would I actually say lead into it sometimes. I'd yeah. be like, Oh, he is cute, girl. Go get him. <laughs> no, I would say no. I feel craziness. like one that's like, set up. No, see, Go exactly. Get him? Because once yeah. they find out who I am, then I just look like a bitch. So I just sit there and I hear it and I just don't say anything. Cause now he, he about to get set up. He drunk. He like, hey, 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 hey who is this rubbing my butt? Hey, girl. He like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching the episode like this is a setup. <laughs> this is a setup. <laughs> I'm learning now. All right. I thought this was my wife rubbing my butt. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's the um. Yeah, so I guess that that is different because all this mm-hmm. time I'm like power. Well, jealousy would come into the p- picture depending on how the way he reacts to that the part too. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. where jealousy would come in. Oh, if he reacts and he's into it, then you're like, nah, I'm jealous. Of mm-hmm. this woman that he's into. His ass, he don't be into it. He be oblivious to it. <laughs> 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 what? He's like, I didn't even notice. I didn't no, know. no. It's like, yeah, I know, dummy. Anyway, (laughs) Um, okay, another um, reason (laughs) that you could um, be jealous is that, like, something from your past Mm -hmm. has come up in it. A trigger, like you've been cheated on before. Yeah. Or you cheated, so you or know you cheated. it's possible. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, wait, I see all the, all the signs of the things that I did right. in this person. <laughs> and so, you know, um, that, your your past coming up Yeah, in it. That Have happened, you? yeah. Oh, look at his face. He right. got a That's story my story the guilty time. face. Come story on, friend. time. Um, <laughs> so, many, so many to pick from. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. High school, Dion like in high school. Most of these stories is Dion like in high school, college. Um, let's bring it to college. I feel like the high school story is gonna make me feel icky. Yeah. Yeah. Let's tell the adult stories. Yeah. <laughs> Good call. Yeah. <laughs> um, My messy ass. I'm here for all of it. Tell right, both. Right, right, but right. no, she said <laughs> college, 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 college. Um, yeah. A lot of these stories is like men having the little pats of who can have sex with the most women. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then it becomes like you got ten, okay, I got eight, oh man, and and it's like we gotta see 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 how many women we can balance together at the same time. How you know do the do the mass text message, you know, I hate hey hey beautiful in the morning, send to all of them, see what they all say. Mm-hmm. And then now it was like oh it worked it worked they all were answering they all answering look at them all the college roommates were kind of like figuring mm-hmm. out like look look I said what's up beautiful and they all answer and we answer them all like this <laughs> but now I'm like and then, and then when I get like a, a girl that said hey handsome I'm like 
Hmm. Who else did you text <laughs> this morning? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, Don't trust second. it even a little bit. Oh. Like, you didn't say my name. <laughs> Listen to him. This is why he's so upset about 50 Cent. He's like, Karma got me. When does go get him? Stop <laughs> that. <laughs> my why therapy. <laughs> this is why, 50, you never said my name, 50. <laughs> oh, child. But it's real. That's uh, where it stems from because you pull yeah. from previous rela- from previous yeah. experiences, yep. and it will eat you if you don't resolve it and make Absolutely. like amends with yourself. Yeah. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. For- forgive yourself, brother. Because listen, <laughs> I be I be one on one in. And I don't almost never say a name because that's in reverse a cheater thing to do. Mm -hmm. Just insert the name so they feel special. Like, it don't take very long to just delete, put in the other new name, and then press send. So I've seen it both ways. I actually think it's weird when I see my full name. I'm like, (laughs) we both know who I am. Like, (laughs) I'm Tiffany. Good morning, Tiffany. You know what, though? You're bae, though, so this is weird. I am. <laughs> I do that all the time to people, though. I will text, and it'll just be your name with, like, 37 exclamation points. And well, that's cute. I want to get one of those. Just because that's just what I do. Like, mm-hmm. when I see people, I'll just scream, Dion! Yeah. And that's my hello. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, new goal. Yeah. Farron sent me one of those Tiffany exclamation points. Yep. <laughs> I'm waiting now. I'm going to work on it. I'm working up to that. Yep. <laughs> so that's just kind of what I do. And I'm like, yeah. why am I screaming their name at them? But yeah. I, I haven't stopped yet, so. <laughs> you guys all have iPhones? Yes. Oh, I Mr. H- Android. Yo. You're green? Yes. yes. Oh. Because y'all, this is how y'all text. Y'all be like, yo, sin. Yep. Can I y'all, <laughs> can you come tomorrow? Sin. I'm like, get your thoughts out right. Not everybody texts like my younger brother. I do. It's always like boom, 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 and I'm like, I can't catch up. And it's like what? Messages. And it's like a panic. It's all iPhone people. It's like, why do I have 15 text messages? From I you? do that. I get one th- thought out at a time. It's like, dude, I'm thinking somebody <laughs> is dead. Yo, wake up! She is on the ground. She's convulsing. <laughs> convulsing? Because it's convulsing. convulsing. Wording is hard. <laughs> we, we see. <laughs> we need to, I'm not even, after that, wording is hard for Dion. I'm not, I'm not even going to fix it. I'm not even going to fix it. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to say it either. Um, oh, oh convulsing. Um, Wait, so you said you were jealous from something from your past? I um, heard that a little bit. So I, I just had to investigate. You know, because just like kind of what we just touched on because of, um, I mean, just my aloofness and just my the the dirt I've done in the past that was also something that was triggering for me mm. like being in a for real committed like men act like being in a committed relationship comes easy for women and that they're the only ones who struggle with that shit <laughs> women struggle with that shit too so it was like going from um fresh out of a relationship that I was in for a year we lived together for a year and for more than half of that, I was fucking somebody else. Mm. And to cutting them off completely, breaking up with one and cutting off the other to be fully committed to to here, like that was a drastic change. And so that was also something when I got here, I'm like, you got so many female friends that you claim you ain't fucking. I was fucking all my male friends. <laughs> like, <Jeez. laughs> <laughs> so there's no way you're not fucking these bitches. Like that's what mm-hmm. came up for me. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah. He said, "Yeah, I want to marry this woman." <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> that's the opening sentence. All right, let's do this. All right. <laughs> but she owned it. She came out. She addressed it. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. a real thing. Yeah. Because you know where you're coming from. Yeah. I had to do the same thing. Yeah. My ex husband was the side dude for three years before I made the transition. Clearly, I made the wrong choice, y'all. <laughs> so, you know, I was young, too. Um, but, you know, like, and then you carry that with you and you have to process that. Mm-hmm. Like, because you know what you've done, what they've done, what's capable. And at that point, if you've ever cheated, I think you're more paranoid than someone who's been cheated on. Mm. Because, again, you know all the behaviors, the things you did, the complexity of emotions. Like, I tell people the most complex thing a human can ever do is realize you can love more than one person at a time. Mm. Wow. Because wow. you're like, oh, <clears throat> what? <laughs> so you don't think you can love two people at the same time? Huh? Yes. You can. No. That's you what can. you got from that. She's, she was saying that she can. You can. You can definitely right. yeah. love. And here's what I tell people is, it, and for humans, it's definitely like, it's partly a choice. It's partly not. Like, we're, um, like, 
what is the percentage? 80% of mammals are not monogamous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like for us as mammals, like it's actually, you know, polygamy is a practice that's normal to like our nature, Mm -hmm. but it's like a choice mentally. What do you need? You know, like if you're a monogamous person, you need monogamy. Mm -hmm. But if you're a polygamous person, you probably need to uh, find other polygamous people. (laughs) Find your tribe. (laughs) Right. (laughs) But yeah, but that's where a lot of people's jealousy issues actually is rooted in their own behavior and not necessarily something somebody did to them. Because mm-hmm. you know it's possible because you did it your dang self. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eat it. Right. That part. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's that going for you, Fear? <laughs> no, I'm good now. I'm gold now. After I burned the first time. Cam is like, hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, he been, he what Cam? 54 know. episodes. He said, well, now on episode 13. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going now as of last week. You wanna know you wanna know why we moved out the first house? I burned that bitch down. Oh my goodness. Seen them blonde hair. That ain't my hair. <laughs> no. <laughs> That'd be worse. Wow. No, I um I definitely am like, look, I'm just I don't know. You go to the phone the, you go to the cell phones? Ugh, no. Ooh, no? I do not. I do not. Have you ever? I did it once in a way past relationship, never went to here, but I was like, I hate this feeling. I don't ever want to be this bitch again, and mm-hmm. I never did that shit again. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 you, ever, you ever been in a relationship with like, it's too good, man. You <laughs> like, man, you are too perfect. <laughs> no. You, you were hiding. <laughs> no. You were hiding something. I think that would be the red <laughs> flag. Too about. perfect. Right? Suit you talking about. Who are you? Who no, are there's you? always something. There's always you? something. You are just very infatuated very. and everything they do is perfect. Mm-hmm. Right, you need to watch So you're in you. the early, yeah. yeah, you're in the early stages like you, it, no. Yeah. It's like, you are too quiet. You, you, you tell me you love me every day. Let me see what you're talking about. Who is in your phone? <laughs> so <laughs> you you go through phones, see right? Uh, that's exactly what he's telling us. This is the jealousy story he mm-hmm. should have led with, yeah. talking about goddamn me fifty cent sidekick too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sidekick, oh, we going back to you the sidekick. You two in her? Okay. Oh my god, you sound so old, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> How you open up this thing? What is this? The iris? Like, why his the message iris. is blue and mine is green? Is <laughs> what does that mean? What does that that mean? Mean? He upgrade, got blue bro. messages. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey Siri, how you open up this phone? <laughs> <laughs> She might just do it. I've never even thought of that. I'm trying to simplest thing might be the answer. Hey, Siri, open up the phone. <laughs> I just um, realized that Siri is Iris backwards. You know that? Yeah. I phone. You know did you? What? You don't That's care. Crazy. I don't. I don't. I, I'm not a hundred percent in love with sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not in love with that. I, I thought that was that, but it was on the subject of Siri. I thought I was gonna be like, hmm, okay, dear. Uh, the wow. Oh, um, yeah. I use my watch, watch. to ding mine. Me yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, speaking of losing phones, I lost my phone yesterday and had to go buy a new one, and yeah. I'm sad because I was not expecting to have to spend that money. <laughs> I was Damn. like, I lost it at Six Flags. Oh. On a roller coaster. Mm. The very first roller coaster I got on. And I love roller coasters. So that almost ruined my day because I was so happy. Happy to be there, <laughs> right? So I was you so so happy to be there, and I lost my phone. Was it like this? Like ah, we have whoop. No, I wouldn't have had it in my <laughs> I wouldn't have had it in my hand. But I guess the place I did have it was equally as dumb. Mm-hmm. It was um I had on some shorts like these, but they had pockets, and so it was in my pocket. And I'm it was like no I'm thinking <laughs> I'll be fine. And I stood up and I was like. <gasps> yeah. Because you was upside down and flying through the air, and it flew with you. It probably it had, it probably had like it a might net knocked of somebody phones out. At, up under that roller coaster. Like, yeah, we collecting phones today. We got, we're yeah, going off the road. Yeah, they got hit, man. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. Yeah, someone definitely got injured yesterday. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm sorry, y'all, whoever it was. And then someone's No, we do sorry. not claim any responsibility for any well, injuries Well, she said, I'm not items. sorry. I mm-hmm. do not claim any. Cam, cut that sorry mm-hmm. out. <laughs> They're going through their phone like, oh, she's jealous. Look at her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the people she said. No, mm. they gonna be like, oh, she really loves herself. <laughs> it's, oh, these selfies. It's the 97 million pictures of That's me. That's funny. Oh, my God. Um, yes, a few in the box. Anyway, so uh, um, another reason why you're jealous, which this one, 
help y'all help me relate it to non-romantic relationships mm. because everything else I felt fit except for this one. And it says you think you own, like you have a level, level of ownership over the person. And I feel like that only works in romantic relationships. No. No, I had it in a friends, friendship. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. Mind you, I have also broken up with this particular friend. After I said it out loud, mm-hmm. I figured friendship. it out. Friendship. <laughs> because you think you should be everything for that person. Mm-hmm. Now, that I, I experienced it like this person wanted to own me. But because um, I don't have this over people but (laughs) i'm okay to share i guess right but um yeah that desire to be someone's everything so Mm -hmm. i had a friend that was jealous Mm -hmm. of all the other friends of sharing me in any way romantically or like friendship wise to the point like when i was on vacation with the other friends that's when this person would like like all the other friends pictures and go to their page knowing that like that person was gonna post because i wouldn't i don't post a lot Mm -hmm. you know so like stuff like that following all my family members all my friends all my social like okay that Yes. So, and it comes from a place of ownership, like thinking they should be your end all be all. Like, why mm. you even got other friends? Oh. All you need is me. Like, uh, <clears throat> that right there is why. Wow. <laughs> right? Because right? that's a little scary. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Yes. 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 But honestly, this was like a go to friendship for like a long period of time. So it took a while for me to be like, that's not working for me. Did like, you tell her why? Or him? Did you tell him why? That's just one of a few reasons why the friendship Shut actually up. ended. So no, this person might be watching the show right now and just figuring oh boy. it out. So, but then you say you're supposed to tell this stuff, and you know. Oh, when you decide to end certain things, no, really, you don't necessarily need to give explanation because for some people, the explanation is never going to be what they want. So you're into ghosting. Ghosting works to a point mm-hmm, with certain personalities and oh, certain really? situations. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. All right. Like, if the person because asks for an explanation, you can give one, but more than likely what you're doing is you're inviting them to continue to ask. At some Ooh. point, they just don't want that ending. Mm-hmm. So your answer is never going to be sufficient because ultimately what they want you to say is, never mind, just kidding. Mm. You know, you like mean? when you're breaking up, <laughs> right? Yeah. I keep asking, so, like, but what do you mean? As much as people hate, <laughs> as much as people hate ghosting, because we're obsessed with closure. What I teach is closure is being okay with not knowing. Mm. I love that. L- accepting at some point you're just not going to know. Yeah. You're not going to know, and it's okay. Now, if you're in yeah. an amicable situation where the person can give you that feedback, like this, this isn't working, or chemistry, whatever it is, cool. But like in this situation, this friendship, there was no way me saying I don't want to be your friend anymore was going to work. You have to yeah. give me a breakthrough. Oh, wow. Yeah. I have somebody right now that I'm – it's a couple that I'm trying to unfriend, and I'm waiting on to hear to join. Are you, to are you join together. What's funny in my yes. head is I know. Yes. I think I know who the couple is in my brain. I want to unfriend. Yeah. Um, no one, anybody has ever seen us with. <laughs> so don't be trying to figure it out. That's funny. No, 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 no one that anybody has ever minutes. seen us with. We're so, but. <laughs> I'm just waiting for for like, the okay to, to unfriend the shit out of them, and I'm gonna be like, "Is it just you, or does is Tear agree with you?" He agrees with me, but he doesn't want to do it. So that's kind me. Of... I'm like, we got to do it together. <laughs> okay, so bring that to anyway. your therapist, yeah. right? <laughs> Well, how my husband won't let me break up with these friends or breaking up with the friends. <laughs> Both. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, getting ready for your session. Help we always me say make take him nope. see. No. <laughs> because it could be the jealousy. <laughs> Lord, just... And he's like, why are you so adamant on getting rid of this girl? She's cool. She's on the payroll. I'm he's not well, saying she that. She said she wants to uncouple from the couple, which means right. you don't like the man or the woman mm-hmm. or the man yes. and a man or the woman and a woman whatever yes. the combination of partnership is but into way um, that, that ghosting yeah, they, you gave me so much breakthrough mm-hmm. yeah. I just did his hands like this because and I felt <laughs> and I felt like you just needed some real long huh. nails hey yo Kim cut that out because <laughs> don't cut it don't cut it damn it right <laughs> he's like I'm heterosexual I swear because <laughs> <laughs> Because as I did that, I said, ooh. In my head, I said. (laughs) Oh, my God. And so here's in this chat talking about I just wanted a new phone. I did it on purpose. Shut up. Um, but anyway, she guys communicate but, so well. She would have just told you she wanted a new phone. Yeah, I did say I wanted a new phone. I didn't oh, want it that way, though. <laughs> I did not want it that way. Um, but I like that you said that for a couple of reasons. I had um, my... I, well, I can't say Uh-oh. who this person is, but I have a friend who had a friend who has a friend. Name Anthony. 
<laughs> I have a friend who has a friend who treated her that way. And so it's like she would be mean to the other people around if she mm. had other friends around and stuff or just be real standoffish and wouldn't right. participate. And, and it's like, well, why did you agree to come if you were just going to be nasty? But she was just felt like this level of ownership mm -hmm. over her that she's like, I... She's like, I just want to invite her anymore when I'm doing group things because apparently she wants me all to herself. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> mm -hmm. they're um, they're still friends to this day, and that's no longer an issue. I don't know what growing or what transpired mm -hmm. over the years that it stopped, but it did stop. At least that part stopped. Um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, I had um, uh, I had a friend who like just felt like we were supposed to talk every single day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I'm one of those people like nope. I could not talk to you for weeks and that does not change your place in my heart right, right. just all of a sudden I'm talking I'm on the phone with you for like three hours and we're talking about everything that we've missed in each other's lives for the past three yeah. weeks and it's like I'll talk to you again in a month like yeah. that's you know right like that's just how I operate and this person can did not like that and so I had to just actively ignore phone calls mm -hmm. right well like, I'm not. Hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> there are friends. Why are... did you say that? Make us laugh immediately. Like because we just never know. Yeah, we're forced to hear him out this entire yes. time. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like we're not listening every time you speak. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there is, there is a young lady who laughs at everything that I say, and it's like I like having her around. She doesn't contribute contribute anything in my life. But I could just be like, hey, man, life is grand. She's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. So, okay. Keep going. She, she feeds your ego. She okay. feeds my ego. So, 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 so she calls me when she needs to get picked up. And, like, like, not like. What do you mean by picked up? Like, make me happy. Right. Oh, okay. So. Oh, when she needs to pick me up as well, yeah, she'll call you. Yeah. Um. So then I, was, then I started realizing, like, maybe, maybe. This is more hurtful than helpful. Um, then I had to, I had to, to cut her off, and then she said I was being mean. Mm. Is that weird? I know, it's, I know, it's like it's not like a like it's like I, in my head I was like, yeah, I like having her laugh at everything, and I was like, I was like, I'm not even saying nothing funny no more. Mm. Like you're just laughing at everything. Any question? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And it's not even like she's asking for me, asking for anything from me. So it's kind of like, you were so funny. I was watching this. And I was like, is that? <laughs> I was <laughs> right. like, that was a eulogy. I was at my dad's funeral. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, so then I was like, I was like, um, I don't, I don't want to. Let me, I gotta go. Were like, you wrong? like questioning the sincerity, like the whether or not she's being thing, genuine? The whole thing. In my, yeah. Like in the beginning, I was like, I enjoy talking to her because I'm trying out jokes. I'm, you know. Trying. Well, this is what you're not gonna like is that you stopped talking to her for the same reason you were using her energy. Mm. She was building your ego by laughing at everything, but then when you realized like the motive, what it wasn't what you thought it was, you were like, this ain't gonna work. Yeah. Ooh. So that was she so, just therapized yeah, you so, in your very damn. face. So so <laughs> when, that's the whole, I was, like, I was, yeah, but I was tiny with the ghosting though. You guys could have just made it a like a, re a reciprocity. Like you give her what she's giving you, right? Like she needs you to Ooh, lift maybe her that day. Was her, like her and love you language. need her to feed your ego. So y'all yeah. should have just kept in that loop. Well, you, you <laughs> just gave me. You just he's gave like me, I ruined it already. You just so. gave me the exit of ghosting. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, ghosting is always an option because again, you giving her the explanation of like, oh, I don't think you're sincere. She's gonna be like, what? She gonna have so many questions mm -hmm. and you don't have the answer. That's why I'm just gonna ghost her. Yeah, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. You yeah. already did it. It's we, done. We, we, we don't have we have no romantic <laughs> right. ties. We never had sex. Right. Um, she's never like shot her shot. I never shot her shot. And I'm just like, dude, she's a real fan. Wow. Yeah. No. But that's all. I don't know why I brought that up. <laughs> It, <laughs> the 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 pre-production of that just felt like misleading. I was like, "Hear me out." And I was like, "It's not that big." It's He's like anticlimactic. Never mind. Don't <laughs> don't do that to yourself. Yeah, your thoughts and feels are valid, right? But no, I did have a situation where actually similar. Another previous friend was equally jealous, and they were jealous then of each other. 
But somehow in like the real world of like wicked wizardry, they decided to team up and then become friends with each other. Mm. And that became weird. Oh. So I've ended both those friendships. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's weird, everybody. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, they would both be jealous like anytime I hung out with other people. It was really? a whole weird thing. Like, yes. They and yeah, right, and then they eventually they friended yeah. each other and now they're friends with each other. I said, oof, that's fine, y'all. We <laughs> team obsessed with each other because I don't need none of that energy. Right. That's very Dexter and oh, I don't wow. need it. You ever been no, to they... a party and you're the only person <laughs> you only know one person at the party and you feel kinda like I oh. can talk to other people, but it's like I, I know you. you. Yeah. So I can get why you saying like yeah. like I only can talk to you and but the, you know, mm. so it's kind of like it's crazy around here, ain't it? He like, he like, yeah, this is my friends. So why are you only talking to me? Yeah, it's like I don't know anybody else. I don't know how to start. So it's like, help me, <laughs> like introduce me to people. You know what I like? Yeah, help me. He likes football. Let me talk to him. <laughs> introduce me. Like don't Very don't true. make me feel like a creep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I, I totally it. I totally get that, and true. I feel like um, I misread uh. Uh, chick's energy recently because the only person she knew and it was like a good 20 people around but the only person she knew was to hear but I'm like okay <laughs> you can't monopolize his time because he's the only person you knew but he said bring a friend you should have brought a friend yeah, so like, you were like, <laughs> you a <were> villain <laughs> And so I did feel a way. And then once we, me, uh, he and I talked about it, he was like, she just didn't really know anybody else. I'm like, well, shit, I was sitting there talking to her and my friends were talking to yeah. her. Like, we were trying to talk to her. She just wanted to talk to you. <laughs> but you, you right. wouldn't have felt that way if it was a guy, though, would you? Yes. Really? No, it, just the 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 whole point of somebody monopolizing his mm-hmm. his time like that, or even me, it's like, okay, this conversation is it has run its course. We've been standing here, just me and you talking for twenty minutes, mm-hmm. and it's yeah. other shit and other people. That's rude, and I'm not doing it. Or if you're going to a party where you know you're the only you're only gonna know one person, bring a friend. Yes. Yeah. So or just be open to just chilling. Chilling. Yeah. 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 So because yeah. that I. Because Tahir is known for having, like, social little get-togethers right. and mm-hmm. stuff. And he'll be, like, the only person I know when I get there sometimes. Yeah. But that's the point, to make new friends. Hello? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. introduce yourself. What do you do? What do you do? What do you? Okay. That's right. Yeah. Like, that's right. why I do cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are friends but because I say, to hear always dropping goddamn um, <laughs> cocaine jokes, fucking cocaine weirdos. Jokes. I've never done and never got offered cocaine. We I don't f- believe you. You <laughs> need more people. What? Actually, until <laughs> last year, I could say I never got offered, but I got right. offered in the most weirdest of ways. Really? Yes. And so I was like, oh well, now that's they happened. open a coat. No, that would that'd be so intriguing. I like that experience just to know. Oh, Eric and Most I'm Dillard. very fan of trench coats. I don't know. Blade, like in LA. Blade. Everybody doing it. Right? Why is it in the inside yeah. of the jacket? It was in a know? very safe environment. And I, I was just very curious. I didn't try it, of course. But yeah. I was uh-huh. definitely like, oh, so, oh, got it. Like, that's cocaine. Wow. I yeah. did, oh. Just and, like in the movies, and, and you gotta make them. You got to make them feel like it's, it's totally cool, but you're not cool. You got to be like, Oh no, I'm good. I'm I had good. to admit, and ori- I didn't originally know the snowflake symbol was like emoji for cocaine. So I oh, just so this, found this out until this year via yeah, and text. So this, it was like, oh, the text was like, oh yeah, I'll come hang out. Um, but I'm on, and it was the emoji, and I just, I don't, I'm from Minnesota. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. what I thought that snowflake stood I'm for. Cold. It just didn't click at first. I'm cold out here in this house. List. <laughs> so when the person got over to the crib and was like, yeah, da 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 da, da and I was like, oh. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they started describing their own symptoms. Like, yeah, that's why I'm like, da 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 And yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, okay, wait, what? And then I was like, how do you even get it? What? I had so many questions yeah, yeah, yeah. at this point. And they're like, oh, you want to see it? Uh, I guess. Like, I didn't touch it because I have a certain job, you know. And I was like, yeah. just observing the situation. But yeah, I, that just happened. So what I, what I get is you don't mind seeing cocaine, but you don't want to see dick pics. <laughs> so everybody just sent, <laughs> sent oh, him so to TV other, so, a bunch of photos no. of cocaine. So you not turn me blow. She, she no. said, oh, you want to see it? Yeah, I'll just... <laughs> Go, I was just so curious. Like, does it happen like in the movie? What a random thing to grasp from that whole story she just told. Right, and if they didn't see the other episode, they don't I'm, know what I even yeah, right, said right, about right, Dick right. Pig. So they're like, what? Dick I am terrified. With oh coke. my god. Anyway, don't send um, me any anything. Okay. Yes. Just so, baby goats. Send baby, me baby goats. goats. Oh my. What's god. that mean? 
I the, love actual baby goats. Just send me oh, videos of baby goats. I know that was emoji. Like this has been another episode of More <laughs> to the Story. <laughs> we have lost control. <laughs> it has gone off the rails. Y'all probably used to it by now, though. Lost but <laughs> and um, yes, we have Tiffany. She stayed for another episode. Hey. So thank you, Tiffany. Tiffany's amazing. Welcome. Thanks for, for having me. For giving me so much of your time. And oh wait. Want to tell people where to find you? Oh, yeah. On all platforms at Tiff Talk TV. T-I-F-F-T-A-L-K TV. <laughs> awesome. And my lovely co-host. I'm the co-host. All right. <laughs> I thought it was a guest. Um, Dion Lack, D-I-O-N-L-A-C-K. Oh, and on YouTube, Lack Toast, L-A-C-K-T-O-A-S-T-E-N-T. What are you whispering? Hmm? <laughs> no, friend, do it. Just... <laughs> what is Lactose. happening? Yes. L-A-C-T-O-S-E. <laughs> That's why they got a million followers. I'm giving them the wrong YouTube. <laughs> yes. Uh, thanks, y'all. Yes. <laughs> Bye. <Toodaloo. laughs>